So I've been taking some videos and photos along the way. Here's the initial build of the frame. Getting my tools set up along with the pulleys and bearings. Um, putting together the Z motors was very easy. As you can see, I got the four of them on very, really quick. Um, added the belts, added the legs onto uh, the bottom of the frame, along with the DIN rails and the bottom plate. Then I was able to detach the motors with the belts for the Z drives. And test fit the bed. Just some extra shots, different angles. Uh, I was measuring how far apart the bed was for the build area. Here I ran into an issue. So I discovered a little mistake on the XY micro switch. They put this four pin connector on the wrong side. As you see, everything lines up, even the self tapping screws. But if you try to mount that in there, you see the connector kind of butts up against the, so I'm gonna have to unsolder that and move it on the other side. So as a temporary fix, you can just use a hacksaw and cut out that little bit for the four pin connector. And there apparently is a mod for this, which I'm gonna print as soon as my printer's online. Most electronics parts are left in the box have the gantry assembly put the idlers together linear rails on here and here so I have almost the whole carriage put together the motors mounted on here and this one Just hoping these tolerances are good. I got those shims in there correctly. There's that X, Y, end stop micro switch. I had to hack in there a little bit. I got the plate on. I don't have the heating element or the magnetic um, magnetic bed on there yet. But we're getting there. Idler. <sighs> okay, quick update on the gantry <coughs> and the afterburner. Um, by far the hardest part was putting in these two belts, the A and B belts, which I'm still not sure. I have them at the right length, so I haven't cut them um, after I tightened them down. But it appears like it's okay. Um, I can't really do it one-handed and move the gantry. But one of the gotchas was, you know, running these belts around. I discovered in the manual, unless I missed it, um, that little hob gear or whatever is opposite on this side for this motor. So you have to turn that pulley upside down um, to pull the A belt, the top. And this one faces to the bottom. I don't know if you can see in there. See how it's on the bottom to pull the B belt so that was a big gotcha um, I got most of the afterburner put together uh, let's flip this over so there's that proximity sensor again those belts this is probably the funnest thing to put together was the afterburner for sure so far um, they even have at the hot end kind of rocking it a little bit, but I can't put that in there yet. I can't mount this flush to the inside unless I cut those belts. And I'm not ready to do that yet. I wanna first make sure that the gantry is uh, operating properly before I cut the belts. I wanna leave myself enough slack, even though these idlers or whatever they call these belt tensioners, I think, um, you know, give me some room on either side to be able to pull it out. But, so that's basically where I'm at. 
And you can see I have a mess of belts. That's gonna be for the Z drive, the Z drives, which probably is the next step. Hooking these up. I guess they're gonna run through here. Gantry is gonna attach to these linear rails up to these idlers up here. So, and I haven't even put the, um, here the magnetic, I haven't put the magnetic uh, plate on yet or the heating element underneath, but I did do the Z switch. I got that hooked up. I have two, it came with two pins. I think I have the shorter one in there now. But um, I can always adjust that later. You know, I'll run that down to the board. Oh, and the other thing was the X and Y micro switches over here. You can see how they're installed now on the bottom. Focus, there we go. So there's the Y, I think, and that would be the X. And you can see where I had to cut it out to fit that connector. So, progress. This is kind of neat too, the way that they mount the back of this cable organizer. It just sort of goes over those uh, M3 screws like that. So you can pop it off real easy.